In today's tech news, the M2 MacBook Pro facing supply issues. What do that mean for the new MacBook Air? Let's dive in and check it out. Apple debuted the first M2 powered Mac this morning, officially opening up pre-orders for the new entry level 13 inch MacBook Pro. The launch, however, has been anything but smooth as Apple is clearly battling significant supply constraint. In fact, any configuration of the new M2 MacBook Pro are already on back order until August. Naturally, that has us wondering how this might impact the new MacBook Air launching next month. M2 MacBook delays. Apple opened pre-orders for the new M2 MacBook Pro this morning at 5 a.m. Things got off to a rough start as the first few hours, Apple was only accepting pre-orders for the base model. Any built-to-order configurations of the MacBook Pro were listed as currently unavailable. So this chip shortage is really, really hurting a lot of things, not only MacBook Pros, cars, parts, anything that has to do with chips we're getting hurt apple has seen open pre-orders for custom configurations over the m2 macbook pro allowing users to spec out the machine with up to 24 gigs of ram two terabytes of ssd storage making those changes however will likely delay the delivery of your new macbook pro into late july or august wow the only two MacBook Pro models you can get with the launch day delivery of June 24th are the options an 8 gig memory or either 256 gigabyte or 512 of storage. Every other configuration is back order to the first week of July all the way to the second week of August. What does this mean for the M2 MacBook Air? Let's dive in. The M2 MacBook Air with its all new design is slated for a launch sometime in July. Apple hasn't announced an exact release date, so it could be that pre-orders for the new Air don't begin until the very last week of July. What worrisome in the M2 MacBook Pro is likely in far less demand than the M2 MacBook Air will be, we don't know. This makes it seem like the MacBook Air will be hard to get and could very well only be available in a base model configuration. It's unclear what exactly the bottleneck in the MacBook Pro production, but it doesn't seem like the M2 chip is the culprit instead it appears to have something to do with the higher capacity unified memory and storage components soc so that's when they mean soc system on a chip personally i do plan on buying the new macbook air next month but it looks more and more like it will be an incredibly hard machine to come by Combine the ongoing supply chain issues and the all new design of the MacBook Air with its popularity and it could be months until the machine is readily available. Are you planning to buy the M2 Max? Let us know. I know I won't be buying it. You give me your thoughts and comments below. Make sure you click the like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you again. Thanks.